Welcome to yoga. You won't need anything for today's video, but here are some optional props that I recommend. So pause the video here to grab your things. Otherwise, if you're ready, let's begin. Meet me in a seated position, in easy seated pose on your mat with your ankles crossed and your knees open like a pretzel. And then place your hands on your thighs, palms down, sit with a tall spine, chin parallel to the ground, relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Take a big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And seal your lips and continue breathing in and out through your nose and become aware of everything that you feel, wherever you feel it in this moment. Our bodies are constantly communicating with us throughout the day, so much that we become numb to it. But here, let's practice listening to our bodies by maintaining an awareness on what you feel and where you feel it. So lower your chin down towards your chest and let your head fall forward, just hanging heavy. No need to force or yank or strain. You should feel a stretching sensation in the back of your neck, sometimes even down in your lower back. The thing about these yoga poses is that they will feel different and look different for every person practicing. So notice how it feels for you today. And if it feels good, try rocking your head side to side, gently and slowly. Yoga is not a game of freeze tag. You are more than welcome to fidget or move or find something that feels even better for you. Trust that your body will tell you if you've ever gone too far through pain or strain. And we never push through pain or strain. Now with your hands on your knees, palms down, pull your chest forward and lift your chin up as you roll your shoulders back and take a big inhale. Then exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin, cave your chest and press the space between your shoulder blades back. Warming up the synovial fluid along your spine, let's do that again. Pull your chest forward Lift your chin up, roll your shoulders back, even lift your chest up. Then tuck your chin, round your spine, cave your chest and press back. Just one more time, pull your chest forward, lift your chin up, roll your shoulders back. Then tuck your chin, round your spine, cave your chest, press it back. And come back to sitting tall with a neutral spine and notice any new sensation. Then open your eyes if they weren't open already and lower your arms down by your side so your fingertips might touch the ground or your prop or they just hang out by your sides. And reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Stretch up through your fingertips and right here you might feel a decent opening through your chest and your shoulder. You're more than welcome to just stay here and breathe. But if you want to take a little bit further, then lean into your right side, arc your left arm over. You're not caving your chest forward or letting your head hang forward. Keep your chest tall. Just lengthen your body from your left hip bone through your left fingertips and use your breath to create space between your left ribs for three, two, one back to center lower your left arm down take a moment here to reset notice the blood flow down your left arm 
and then we'll switch sides. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Notice any stretch that you might feel in your chest or shoulder. And if you did on the other side, then arc over, leaning into your left side. Keep your chest open so you're not caving forward. Lengthen from your right hip through your right fingertips and use your breath to create space between your right ribs for three, two, one. Come back to center, lower your right arm down and notice the blood flow down your right arm. Then for a twist, place your left hand on your right knee and place your right hand wherever it lands behind you. Twist your upper body to the right through your chest, shoulders, even through your chin and your eyes. Then once you're in your twist, you're there. No need to yank yourself further. Just hold and breathe in and out through your nose. Three, two, one, come back to center. Pause for a moment. Notice how you feel. Then twist to your left. Place your right hand to your left knee. Left hand plants behind you wherever it lands. Then twist your upper body to the left through your chest, shoulders, chin, and eyes. And notice how your breath feels within this twist. Three, two, one. Come back to center and pause. Notice any new sensation. Then make your way into a tabletop facing the front of your mat on your hands and knees. I do recommend placing a hand towel underneath your knees for extra cushion. You want your knees directly underneath your hips so that your thighs are parallel with each other and your hands directly underneath your shoulders so that your arms are parallel with each other. And to create the top of your table, you want your back flat. So instead of letting your belly drop down towards your mat, use your core to pull your navel in towards your spine and that will hold your core in place and flatten out your back. Bring your neck up in line with your spine so that the back of your head and your back are all the table top. This is an active pose. So if you were to hold it for even a minute with this core engagement, you would feel your core working. This is your neutral position in tabletop. So to add on cat cow spinal waves, which are very common in our yoga practice, first for cow pose, drop your belly down towards your mat and lift your chin up. This is stretching the whole front line of your body should feel good. And typically we match this with an inhale. So breathe in. Then exhale, come back to your neutral position in tabletop. Pull your belly in, neck is in line with your spine. For a cat back, round your spine, tuck your chin, even tuck your tailbone like a scaredy cat. You're pressing everything away from the mat and then pull your navel in here. Take a breath in through your nose. Big breath out. Then come back to your neutral position and tabletop. And again, for cow pose, drop your belly, lift your chin, feel the stretch along your front. Inhale. Exhale, come back to tabletop. Neutral spine, belly pulls in. For a cat back, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Pull your navel in even here for one full inhale. And exhale. Then come back to your tabletop. One more of each for cow pose. Drop your belly. Lift your chin. Big breath in, big stretch. Then exhale back to tabletop. Nice flat back, belly pulling in. For cat back, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, navel pulls in, big breath in, big breath out, and come back to tabletop. Well done. Meet me in child's pose. 
Separate your knees wide towards the edges of your mat. Bring your big toes to touch behind you, and it's okay if they don't touch. I just want your shins in the shape of a V. Then sit your hips back towards your heels, and you can always place a pillow underneath your hips for more support. Then lower your chest down towards your mat, and extend your arms out long in front of you, and rest your forehead on your mat. But sometimes this is a little too intense to start, so you can always stack your wrists or your fists underneath your forehead. The purpose here is to rest and relax. So relax. The muscles in your face, your jaw, shoulders, and hips. The word yoga means to unite. And what you unite is your mind and body. So from the yogi in me to the yogi in you, namaste. Well done. Hi, I'm Sarah Beth, and I'm here to help you get fit, happy, and healthy through yoga. I created this beginner level yoga video as an easy and fast way to wake up your body and increase your flexibility and strength. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love my free seven day beginner yoga challenge with simple beginner level yoga videos to help you get fit and flexible fast. All you need to do to get access to this challenge is click the first link in the comments below, enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you the challenge calendar and all the details. Now, did you enjoy this video? Let me know by clicking the like button below and comment with your favorite part. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new free yoga video. Have a good day.